Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1032. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have a table here, and we want to use the filter. But we'd like to have the numbers 1 to 7 showing when the filter is not applied. But if we filter it and we see only four records, I want each record that's showing to have uh, the proper count, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we can use the subtotal function with an expandable range. Now subtotal has 11 functions. And by the way, if you watch a lot of my videos, I use aggregate a lot. Aggregate is similar, but does more. Subtotal has only 11 functions, whereas aggregate has 13 non-array functions and 14 to 19. Uh, the, there's some special array functions. All right, so but what's this? There's 1 to 11, and down here there's 1 on 1 to 111. Well, 1 to 111 will avoid using any rows that are hidden by the filter. But if you manually hide, these functions will still include those. If you want to ignore filtered values from the filter and hidden rows manually, then you use these. Now, I want to use a count function, and I want to count the rows that contain numbers. So that'll be our function. We're in a, um, a table, so when we're only using filter, not manually hidden. So I'm going to use the two. Now, I'm going to select B2. I'm actually going to type it out, B dollar sign 2 colon B2. Now, that's an expandable range, if only I could type that will have this reference lock, but this one not. So as I copy this down, right now it's counting 1. But as I copy down here, right now it'll expand. So it's counting 4 numbers, 5 numbers, etc. But watch this. That is totally awesome. Actually, I'd like to say fill without formatting. So I can, uh, can retain the formatting there. Now that's awesome. But let's just check this out. Because we're using the subtotal function, and tables can have subtotal functions at the bottom, or it's expecting them there. Actually, this blog from uh, Deborah explains in great detail what's causing the bug and has a great screenshot. But let's just see what happens. I'm going to come over here and filter. I'm going to uncheck uh, A and B. So there it is. Oh, that's working beautifully. One, two. I could print this out, and I got just the records I want. But if I come over here and I start filtering a bit, now maybe this time I'll just do A and C, click OK. I come back up here, and what? Where did C go? Well, maybe it'll show up if I select or unclear the filter, right? Oh, no. no. Oh, now there's not even a B or a C. So that's the bug. And it has to do with the subtotal function. So uh, Deborah in her post uh, shows this great trick uh, by Dick. And it's basically going to trick the uh, table feature, I guess. Uh, we're going to do, whoops, not substitute the same exact formula here. I'm going to do 2 comma b dollar sign 2 colon b2 close parentheses. Ah, but before I copy it down, I'm going to use double negative. Now what's the double negative of anything? It's the same thing. But that double negative somehow tricks it. So I still get the exact same visual result. The only difference in the formula is that double negative. But now I can come over here and filter to my heart's desire. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. I can print that out. I can go back. And as many times, oh, you know, I forgot to uh, fill without uh, formatting. So I'm going to click the paintbrush and then click right there. All right, but let's do some more filtering. Oh, and it just it seems to be working. Oh, I have dollar signs now. Uh, hey, there's a keyboard shortcut to get rid of uh, all number formatting. And it's Control plus Shift plus tilde. So I'm going to do that, Control Shift tilde. So it'll still keep the uh, all the other types of formatting, just get rid of general. And look at that. So that seems to be dealing with our bug there. Oops, I better Control Shift tilde. Absolutely beautiful. So uh, thanks to uh, Deborah and to Dick. We'll see you next trip.